Hamid Karzai's popularity among Afghans appears to be declining and the Obama administration has serious doubts about his leadership. Now another blow. He's getting harsh criticism from this man over the past four years, one of his closest allies. Anwar al haqqa Hadi was the country's finance minister from 2004 until the beginning of this month. Now he's running for president against Karzai, who he says is no longer the right man to lead the country. I think it's uh, time for uh, uh, fresh leadership. Uh, I think he has lost popularity within the country and I don't think he has the kind of support that he enjoyed uh, from uh, our uh, uh, international uh, allies as well. For over four years you have been one of President Karzai's right-hand men leading one of the major ministries. You've seen him close up. What would you say are his shortcomings? He wants to micromanage things. And I don't think the president has time for those things. I mean, like he would want to micromanage even the flight schedule of our pilgrims who go to Saudi Arabia, I mean, for Hajj. Uh, he wants to make sure that uh, the flight schedule is okay. I mean, that's uh, no president can afford to, uh, to do that. How would you describe President Karzai's leadership style? There have been criticisms that he is a weak leader. Well, I think he's uh, a procrastinator, unfortunately. Uh, I, I th I'm, would not say he is indecisive in the sense that sometimes I think he decides, but he makes the wrong decisions. He's a procrastinator. You know, he was elected sometime like in October. He presented his cabinet to a parliament sometimes in late March or early, uh, I think early April. Why procrastinate that much? At the time of inauguration, he should have had his cabinet. And it's not like he made a great choice. I mean, it's not like, oh, well, I'm going to take my time to find the best people. I mean, we all know that uh, his choice were not that, uh, choices were not that great. I've interviewed Mr. Hadi a number of times over the last few years. While he was finance minister, he became known for his moderate and measured tone. Now, though, all of that diplomacy has gone. Afghans will be shocked by such stinging criticism from a man who worked so closely with the president over the last four years. James Bay's Al Jazeera, Kabul.